Hey folks, welcome back to This Is Van Color. I'm your host, Mo Amir. And you know what? I'm feeling a little sassy tonight, so let's take a moment. Last week, the Vancouver Police Department released the preliminary findings in their social impact audit of social services in the city of Vancouver. Initial leaks of the report spawned sensational headlines about the supposed billions of dollars spent on Vancouver's social safety net. All this money, yet Vancouver is dying. Until, of course, my Czech colleague, Rob Shaw, thoroughly dismantled the report as misleading nonsense. Even Vancouver's newly sworn in mayor, Ken Sim, dismissed the usefulness of this VPD report. Panned by consensus, this VPD report is clearly, as Rob Shaw describes, an inflated work of fiction. But why did the VPD even commission this report in the first place? Why are the Vancouver police spending $150,000 of taxpayer money to study something that is outside of their scope of responsibilities? It's a reasonable, non-ideological question. After all, police are accountable to the public. So whenever police do something, good or bad, they're expected to explain themselves, especially given the special authorities like carrying and administering lethal weapons that we collectively allow them to exercise. Which gives me an idea. What if we did a social impact audit on the Vancouver Police Department. I mean, the VPD comprises 21% of the city of Vancouver's budget, and the VPD's budget has increased over 70% since 2010, and they continually ask for, and usually receive, more resources, even while they apparently have the cash to pay for studies outside their core responsibilities, all while crime in Vancouver keeps getting worse and worse, according to the VPD themselves. It seems like if we're gonna do the whole good governance thing, and audit the social impact of Vancouver's institutions, maybe we should start with the police. <laughs> Folks, that's our show. Thank you so much to Danae Johnson of 1027 Now Radio Vancouver. And thank you to the author of Invisible Boy, Harrison Mooney, for tonight's show. Also, special thanks this week to Clara Marie, for making me this very personalized pin that combines my favorite food, french fries, with my favorite animal, dolphins. I love it. Clara Marie, you're a gem. And this is my new favorite pin. Of course, we will be back next week right here on Check. In the meantime, if you want more, find This Is Van Color on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Check Media's YouTube channel, and the Check Plus app. But for now, this is Van Color, and I'm Mo Amir, telling you that in a province where you can be anything, be colorful. Peace.